Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to solve a 3x3 super cube. Now, um, before you attempt this, you need to know how to solve a 3x3, um, and I have a tutorial on how to do that. The link is in the description. Now, um, I'm going to be making this tutorial assuming you know how to solve a 3x3 using beginner's method. So, um, that's how we're going to um, solve it. So, I'm going to reference some, some steps from the beginner's method when we're doing this. So, um, yeah get started okay so um the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be making the cross now um this is step one of the beginner's method and we are going to be making sure the centers are correct with it so it'll solve five of the centers so what we're going to want to do is we want to pair up one like this and make sure the arrow is the right way and then um you're going to want to um pair up some more like that and we're going to pair up three of them okay so we gotta um, make sure that the centers are right just like that. Okay, so now to fix some of the centers if they're not right, you want to move the empty slot in and rotate the center just like that until it's solved. So we'll do that here. Okay, so now this last one is um, a little bit harder. Um, now there's two cases. You can get this case where all you have to do is um, put the center up like that and then move it in. Or you could get this case where the um, edge is not flipped right and you have to bring it down like that. So the way to do that is you want to rotate the center so that when you bring it down, it matches it up like that. And once it's matched up, you want to move it and then it goes in like that. Okay, so we've solved five of the centers. Now you got to do steps um, um, th two to four on the beginner's method. And just a note is you can use Frederick method to put the F2L pairs in. and um, But you're going to have to use um, the beginner's method for... Um, the um last layer so um i'll get back to you then okay so you're going to want to get it into the state where all the edges are um flipped right and they don't have to be solved yet um but they might become solved so anyway what we're going to want to do is we need to um rotate um or no get the edges solved with the center now as you can see in this case that i got the edges are solved but if you look closely the center is not solved as you can see Okay, so um, the way we do this is, um, I'll demonstrate here. So here's how the algorithm we're going to work is from the beginner's method. So this edge here will stay the same with the center right here. This edge is going to move here. This edge is going to move here. And this edge is going to move here. Okay, so that's how it's going to work on this. So um, what you want to do is um, first you want to get one matched up. Now, um... What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to kind of experiment a little bit, you know, but use that to um, get it matched up. And if there's none matched up, you can do a random move, and almost always you'll, al you'll almost always get one of them like that matched up. So now that we got that matched up, we can go like that. And there we go. Um, the edges are now solved. And um, now that the edges are solved, all the centers are solved, and then you just use the beginner's method for the rest of the cube. So we do step six. And as you can see, I got to skip step seven there because um, because I, just, I was able to skip it there. So you'll just do step six and seven from the beginner's method to get solved. And there you go. You now have solved a super cube. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. And um, I will see you guys on my next video.